What's going on guys? Welcome back to another video. In today's video, we're going to learn about toolbar modifiers in Swift UI. So basically, we're going to learn how to add the navigation bar buttons like the bell icon at the top left here and search at the top right. We'll also talk about toolbar item groups and how you can specify if you want it to be at the bottom here. If you take a look, we've got my account at the bottom left here. So pretty important, pretty straightforward as well. So if that sounds good, make Make sure you start by destroying the like button down below hit subscribe if you're into ios and haven't done so already that all said let's get into the video all right we're gonna get started by opening up xcode and creating a new project we're gonna stick with the app template under ios and let's go ahead and give this project a name of swift ui toolbars make sure of course your language is swift and both interface and lifecycle are swift ui Go ahead and continue, save the project wherever you'd like. I shall toss it onto my desktop here. And first things first, we're gonna close this right panel. We're gonna expand our window. And let me change the preview device here to a 12 Pro Max. And we'll hit resume on the right hand side just to get our preview loading up. There it is, nice and fast. And let's get into this. So the first thing I'll do here in the text, uh, or the code rather, is I'll get rid of the text and I'm gonna add a navigation view here. And our navigation view is going to have a vertical stack in it. And let's maybe give this a title here. We'll go ahead and call it uh, toolbar, or maybe we can call it Swift UI toolbar. And basically the toolbar modifier uh, is a modifier that allows you to add buttons to either the bottom bar or the top bar in your Swift UI view. So we can say toolbar here. And you can see that it takes a view builder. So we can go ahead and uh, instead of doing this, we can just do a single trail enclosure. And we can first start by creating a item in here by just saying toolbar item. And there's a couple different uh, initializers you can use. The most common one is a uh, placement and a uh, body here. So we can go ahead and say placement. Let's just use bottom bar, which I believe is one of them. And inside of the content here, we want to actually specify what to show. And what it's going to be is nothing more than a button. So we can just create a button here and we can go ahead and say this is bottom button. And let's go ahead and give this a run on the right. Looks like it actually showed up already. And if you look at the bottom left here, we can actually already see we have this button at the bottom left, which is called our uh, bottom button. So that's how you add generally from a very, very brief perspective, a toolbar button. Now let's make things a little more interesting. What if we wanted to put this on the top? Well, there's a couple options in here and sometimes autocomplete works and sometimes it doesn't, but what you could do is just hit the dot and you'll say uh, that we have navigation bar leading and trailing. This refers to the top left or the top right. So we, that's leading and moved up to the top uh, left. We can also do trailing here, but this begs the question, how the heck do you do multiple of these? Cause sometimes you want buttons on the top left and the right and the bottom maybe. So it's pretty easy actually. You're gonna leverage a toolbar item group is what I believe it is called. Let's see if I can find it. We want a tool, toolbar item group. And a group uh, basically, as the name implies, can take in multiple of these uh, items. But let me go ahead and see why this is yelling at me. I believe we might wanna pass in another parameter here. So let's see. So this takes in a content or placement. And inside of this group, if I just go ahead and drop in a toolbar item, let's see what the issue here is. Looks like it is a generic and uh, it should have a uh, placement to itself. So let's go ahead and specify a placement here. We'll go ahead and specify one of these. And let's see, let's see if I can recall where these should go. So that's one of the placements that we have. But let's actually do this again because it looks like my copy and paste has screwed things up so let's go ahead and uh, do the autocomplete here and we can see placements takes a toolbar item placement so we're going to say toolbar item placement and off of this we're going to grab one of these again so maybe we'll go with the navigation so let's see let's go with navigation bar leading here and inside of this, what we want to return is uh, a collection of buttons, maybe. Let's see if that's what it's expecting. 
and let's see we're gonna do action and here we're gonna add a button of uh, title first and if we take a look at our uh, canvas over here we can see we have our first button showing up right there but what happens if I copy and paste this and drop in another one and I call this second what you'll see is right next to that first one it has put in a second button and this allows us to basically have independent buttons with multiple of them in a particular group so here is navigation bar leading now let's see what happens if we copy and paste this and change the placements to navigation bar uh, trailing so i believe what i'm looking for and this one we can go ahead and call third and we can call this fourth and if you take a look at our uh, preview we have these two groups with two buttons each and uh, it's not complaining here anymore so this is the premise of grouping if you want to have a single uh, if you want to have a multiple buttons in a single placement like the leading or trailing you need to group them in a toolbar item group and in the toolbar root modifier you can actually supply multiple groups and achieve uh, basically what we've got going on here and of course this works for the bottom bar as well so let's just uh, clean this up a little bit and I'll show a bottom bar example as well so this one here maybe you can go ahead and call it search and this one up here instead of having uh, two we'll call this one sign out and maybe we want one at the bottom as well so what I can do is copy and paste this one more time and I'm gonna call this bottom bar and this is a little verbose you can actually delete the prefix and it actually won't complain I just did it for the sake of uh, everyone knowing where this uh, enum is coming from but now down here I can go ahead and say go to account or maybe we'll call it my account but basically that is the premise of how these bar button items work and inside of here these are nothing more than you know pretty average buttons so we can just add you know a print for now uh, and you know that's how it'll work in your actual application you would you know presumably navigate somewhere or update some state or binding or however your application works but this is the basics of the uh, toolbar button now because it's a standard button you can actually put different kinds of views in here so if you wanted to like make this bold and you wanted to have like a image inside here so let's say instead of this we wanted to have a image with system name maybe we can say this is for notifications we can go with the bell icon and if you take a look let's go ahead and hit resume in our preview so it actually updates itself if you take a look at the top left let's try that one more time let's see why this is yelling at me because we don't need this modifier let's try that one more time now you can see at the top left we have a uh, bell icon here it's a little hard to see it's kind of small but there is our bell icon so you're not just limited to text uh, buttons so there you have it that's all I've got for you guys today a nice and short video for your Swift UI apps if you haven't dropped a like down below don't forget to do so it helps way more than you guys can imagine with the YouTube algorithm subscribe to the channel if you're into iOS and want to stick around and don't hesitate to leave a comment down below if you have any questions video suggestions or just want to say hi I always love hearing from you guys Thanks again for watching. I'll catch you on the next one.